Yeah, we did. Kind of a freakish uh, first series there. Where, um, we had a, we had a play that we thought could hit a home run at the gate, and we want we were really uh, made an attempt to hit some balls down the field. Some we hit, some we didn't. Um, but I thought that set the tone. We we wanted to come out and we wanted to be one and zero this week, and we wanted to attack. And I thought that set the tone. And then just kind of freakish on the interception. Sam Letton just fell down. He kind of slipped. This is this turf is brand new and it's a little high. Um, it's, it's a nice, really nice playing surface. Um, but we got a slow start. I thought it was critical that defense held them to three points. And then we were able to come back the next drive and, and get it to seven. Just really talk about that, too, because the deep shots down the field, yeah, you completed a couple of them, but it caused Georgia State to really take that into account and it really yeah. opened up the running game. And talk about – the job Josh Anderson did today with Jordan being on the sideline, he had a good day. Yeah, I was proud of Josh. You know, and he he really carried the load during fall camp. Uh, Jordan really didn't practice a whole lot during fall camp, and Josh has improved so much over the last calendar year. Uh, he had a good game against these guys last year as well, but I was proud of him. He had a great week of preparation. Uh, one of the better teammates we have on, on on their team, and he wouldn't be denied. You know, he you know he and Jordan are really close, so he didn't. You know, he was a little down that Jordan didn't play, but he did a good job of taking taking advantage of the opportunity, and it follows a hey, next man up. And we went next man up, um, and, and Josh did a good job. Jamarius did some really nice things as well. Transition now the special teams. Tyler did a really good job in the kicking game for you today. Yeah, he was solid, you know, and, and I think part of that is just the confidence he has from being from punting so well. You know, through, uh, through six games, um, he, he punted as well as anybody in the country. So he had some confidence. Uh, it's been a while since he actually placed kicked in a game. I don't think, I think it's been his junior year at Spain Park since he actually attempted a field goal in a game. So he came, he came out and, and executed, made all our kicks, and, and that was critical. We got to do a better job of scoring touchdowns in the red zone, but it was definitely comforting to make some field goals today. So overall, when you tie it all together, really good things in all phases. Still some things to work on in all phases, too, to even get to where you want to be. This was a good football team. 670 yards of yeah. offense last week at Monroe and 476 yards passing. Your defense did a great job. Overall, just a good day. Yeah, you know, Vic, I thought, had a really good plan. Those guys got some explosive players, and I thought our defense did a good job. We bent a little bit, but we never break. You know, I, I hated to see that drive at the end of the game, you know, for a couple of reasons. You know, it's been a long time since we held a Sun Belt opponent without a touchdown. Uh, but they ate up the last nine minutes, and I wanted to, I really wanted to have an opportunity to play some younger guys offensively. Uh, we didn't get that chance. Barker only got, I think, two snaps. I'd like to play him more. He had a great week of practice, so I'd like for him to be able to show that in the game. Um, but it's a good win, man. It's, I thought this was a critical game in our schedule. Got us to 5-2 and two with opportunity next week on homecoming. Uh, we played Georgia Southern to get to bowl eligibility at 6-2, and, two, and uh, a team that's kind of had our number last couple of years.